Good night, teacher. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? Uh, today was busy because today is my outside day. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. But I have to go to supermarket. Okay. I I I went to the bank. Okay. And I have to work too. Okay. So I, I really feel very tired. Okay. And where do you live again, Lorraine? In Montserrat, Colonia Montserrat. Right, right. And where do you work? In Paseo Escalón. Right, right. Okay. So um so your do it finishes in number three or four? Three. Three, okay. Because my do it finishes with number three as well. And today I went out too. So, yeah, so today was for numbers three and four. Yes, today is. Mm -hmm. So today was the day to do errands or uh, different activities. Right, so that's good. Alan, Claudia. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Fine. A little fine. Good. Thanks. Okay. Did you do anything different today? No. Stay home only. Mm. <laughs> Claudia, you did. No. No. All right. No, I don't. Okay, what about you, Pamela? Hi, good evening, everybody. Hello, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. Okay, what did you do today? Mm, not much, just work and watch TV. And that's it. Okay, <laughs> you're, you're working... Much. Okay, so you're working from your house? Yes, I'm doing home office. Okay, good, good. That's good. All right, so today is uh, Wednesday, May 20th. What year? 2019. What year do we have? 2020. All right. So in every session, we start talking about the previous class. Do you remember what we covered yesterday? Models. Models. Now, um, what can you tell me about models? Models can be used in a... Okay, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> what is it, Pamela? Uh, there are different types of models. Uh, okay. One is for ability, the other one's permission, advice, obligation. Okay. Ability. All right, good. Yes. Uh huh. We have to use model verbs uh, with the verbs in the with the verb in base form. With exception of have to. Or ought to. Have to or ought to. Okay. Very good. Yes. Like Pamela was saying, every model um, gives a specific meaning or function to the verb that we're talking about. And um, the form of the main verb always has to be base form. That's very good. Okay, someone else? Alan, what else did you want to say? Or anybody, Eric, Claudia, Lorraine? Or Gloria? What else do you guys remember about models?
Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. What do you guys yes, remember? Yes, I can hear. Okay, so what do you guys remember about models? Mm, different models? Uh-huh. Yes, there are different models. We, we have different more kind of model, like that, like already Pamela says, so we can use models in a usual conversation using the simple present or to 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 not even speakers when when people are speaking, maybe it's using models sometimes. I have seen that uh, people talking in on the street sometimes on and they use in models or on some videos that I have watched. Right. That they're using models. Yes. And, and models is something that everybody uses. Um, native speakers, foreigners, immigrants, um, beginners, intermediate, advanced. Everybody's using models. Models are taught uh, from, uh, from beginners one. That is part of your learning process so uh, make sure that you understand and have a clear idea of how they work how they function yes okay. um, remember that models they give a specific meaning a specific function to the verb uh, the form of the verb is always base form and um, like you guys were saying some of them are to give advice to express possibilities, uh, to talk about in different tenses. So, and people use them all the time. So you should be very familiar with them. Did we talk about anything else yesterday? How do you say teacher, excuse? Uh, excuse did, did, we, did we talk about anything else yesterday? Ah. Uh, did we talk about other topics? Mm. No, I don't remember, I don't remember them. Do you, do you remember when we were using faster? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, we talked about comparatives and superlatives. Right. Right, so we use uh, comparatives and superlatives. That is correct. Um, we have short adjectives and we have long adjectives. If the adjective has one syllable, it's considered to be short. If the adjective has two syllables or more, then it's considered to be a long adjective. Now, if the adjective finishes in letter Y and it has two syllables, then when you compare, you should apply uh, the same rule that you apply with short adjectives, even if the adjective has only two syllables. Uh, anything else, any questions, any comments? No. No, all right, so let, let, let me show you. Um, we spoke about, let me see, where is this? Uh, past model, okay. Now, do you remember which model is, um, what the function is about must? What is must function? When do you use must? Model. Uh -huh. What's M-U-S-T? Must. When do you use it? When it's mandatory. When, when. Sure. Uh-huh. Yes, Pamela? When it's mandatory. Yes, or remember that some models, they only have one function, but some of them, they have a double function. Yeah. 
So, so what is the other uh, function of must? Alan said that it's something mandatory. That is correct. And what is the other one? Uh, remember the example that I gave you? That uh, you are in a traffic light and there is a, a nice 2020 Audi car or Rolls Royce, whatever. What is your first impression that comes to your mind about the driver? It's it model the most is like a superlative one when we want to express that it's a moss uh, or or something is more expensive than another another thing that uh, maybe you say uh, you you did an example or you given an example like uh, Toyota's are expensive but BMWs are most expensive okay right um, so in that case uh, we're, we're talking about using the superlative of, of adjectives yeah. That is correct. Now, what about when we use must, M-U-S-T? You said that we use them uh, for obligations. You must take your medicine. You must go to work. You must do your homework. Those are obligations. But what happens when a person in a very nice car uh, gets next to you and, and, and the car is really nice. What is the first impression that comes to your mind about the driver? Anybody? He had a lot of jobs. Right. Uh huh. Somebody said must. He must have money. He must be an uh, entrepreneur. He must be a business person. But that is only your opinion. Your opinion can be very different than reality. Maybe the person driving the car is not the owner. So you use must, like Alan said, when something is an obligation or when you are very sure about something. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. So clear. Please explain, explain that again, please. Sure, sure. Uh, when we talk about must, M-U-S-T. Show it to you here. Um, a deduction about something that has happened. Example, if your mobile isn't in your bag, you must have left it in the house. How would you say that one in Spanish? Lo debes haber dejado. Aha, uh -huh. debiste haberlo dejado en tu casa. So the person talking is a hundred percent sure that the mobile is safe. So if your mobile isn't in your bag, you must have left it in the house. Si tu teléfono no está en tu bolsa, debiste haberlo dejado en casa. So, but maybe the person talking here, this opinion is not true. Maybe somebody stole the cell phone. Maybe he or she dropped it. Uh, maybe he left it in a car, in a taxi. So this person's opinion doesn't have to be true. It's only a deduction. So once again, when we use must, M-U-S-T, uh, we're talking about something that is mandatory or when you are 100% sure that something is true. And, and that's basically the two uh, functions that must has. Something mandatory or when the person talking is 100% sure and he or she expresses her opinion. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you, Tisha. All right. So and, and, all right. Now, when do we use can't and couldn't? The second chart. Can't is when I 
Let's go. Is present. Is good is as well. Okay, good. That is the first thing you need to um, identify. Can't is for present and couldn't is for past. Now, um, what do we have for can is for present, couldn't is for past. What do we have for the other tenses? You have to use uh, the words able to. Exactly. So once again, let me ask you again. How do you say no he podido ir? I have I haven't been able, I haven't to, go. Been able to go. Good. How do you say voy a poder ir? I will be able to go. Be able Good. to go. I will be able to go. Now remember that couldn't is a uh, it's an option that we have to express ideas in the past tense. Is can't and couldn't clear? Yes. Okay, yes. let's go to the next one. Now, could, may, and might, the three of them, they express possibilities. So if the three express uh, possibilities, uh, what is the difference between them three? Does anybody know? Okay. Can and could, it's a ability. And uh, may is a permission. Okay, very good. Um, remember, uh, once again, that some of these models, they have one function, and some of them have double function. Now, could is the past tense of can. May, it's a possibility, and it's also the model that we use to ask for permission. May I go outside? May I speak with you? We may have an exam today. It's a possibility. And might is also a possibility, but it's uh, chances are very small of something happening. So if you compare could, may, and might, could is the strongest. Number two, we have may, and in the last place, we have might. But the three express possibilities. Um, any questions there? Any questions or comments there with this uh, rectangle that we have here? Can you explain again, please, teacher? Sure. Cool and how you sure. Um, could, may, and might, the three options, they express possibility. The difference is that could is very possible. Second place, we have may. And last, we have might. So if, so, if somebody in the group asks, Francisco, do we have an exam today? Uh, and I know that the chances are very small, I will say, we might. But in the inside, I know it's not going to happen. So I said, we might. If I ask you, what plans, okay. what plans do you have when the emergency is over? You will say, well, I might go to Santa Ana. Might, it's a small possibility. Maybe it's included in your plans but you know that it's very, uh, it's not going to happen that easily. Alan, it's hard it, to happen. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it can happen, but it's not that uh, possible. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tisha. Sure. Anybody else has any other comments or questions? No. Okay, now what is the one we use for suggestions or advice? What is the model that should. we use? Exactly. So we use should for suggestions or advice. 
So imagine you're waiting for your brother and your brother doesn't come. The following day, he tells you, look, uh, my supervisor asked me to stay at work. And then you said, me hubieras llamado. How do you say that? Me hubieras llamado. It's a you question. Should, you should have uh, you should have called me. Yes. So you said, okay, I understand that your supervisor asked you to stay at work, but you should have called me. We were waiting for you. You should have called me. So you're giving an advice about something that um uh, that you think it would have been a good idea for the other person to do. So you say should have. Now remember, but when we, when we excuse me. Yeah, teacher. When when we are using cool, I cool. We have to to use the past form of the verbs to to make a question. Yes, you always have to use the past participle of the verb. Okay. So like I was telling you uh, yesterday, I think I mentioned this to you. Uh, most of uh, English books in the back part of the book, there is a list with verbs. And the verbs, they come in three columns. You have them yes. in present, the past, and past, and past participle. And past participle. Now, there past, is called an appendix, maybe in, on, on some books of English. I right, remember. right. So uh, the past participle form of the verb has different functions. So you guys should be uh, familiar with the form of, of, of past participles. I know I that the... Yes. When we use could, I thought that is for simple past. Right. Not past participle, but I am not sure now. Yes. Uh, could, like I told you, could is the past tense of can, like you said, but you can also use it for past possibilities. Now, if you say, me hubieras llamado, you say, you should have called me. Now, if you want to say, me pudiste haber llamado, then you say, you could have called me. So the two options are valid. Okay. Yes. Alan, you were going to say something. Yes, I have seen that we can use past participle when we're where we're speaking or think that is happening for maybe in calls. I I have read about uh, past participles that uh -huh. they can be used to for for present sometimes on on native speakers. Okay. Yeah. I remember that past participles are also used as adjectives. They can also be used as adjectives. Now, yeah. how do you say romper papel? What? How do you say romper papel in English? Uh, uh, Cut paper? Romper. What is it? Cut paper? Mm, cut, cut paper is, 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 is cortar, Crawling. right? But romper? I crawl. Crawling? Okay. What is it? Okay, do you see the WhatsApp chat? Tear, yes. Okay. Tor. And I you tor. have torn. Now, tor. how do you Tear, say tor, tor. tu camisa está rota? Your t-shirt is torn. Your t-shirt is torn. So in that case, torn is a past participle that is being used as an adjective. That it's happening now, right? Tear right. is not lágrima. Yes, it's tear is lágrima, tear is romper. Tear, tear with W, right? No, T, T, the, the e. same one, T. the same one, tear. So dry your tears. Stop crying, okay. dry your tears. But if you want to say romper, uh, you don't say tear, you say tear. Tear, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, t-shirt. All right. So once again, 
uh, let me write it in the WhatsApp chat. You have model plus have plus. Let me see. Plus. Hold on, let this. Minute, minute. Pass. Pass participle of verb. Okay, so you have the model plus have plus past participle of the verb. So you said, I should have stayed home. How do you say that one in Spanish? I should have stayed home. Debería haberme quedado en casa. Uh -huh. Debería haberme quedado en casa. So if you compare the, the sentence, I should have stayed home with the previous structure that I gave you, should is the model, then we have, then we use have, and finally we use the past participle of the verb, stayed. So remember we have regulars and we have irregulars. If you're using regulars, you still use ed. Any questions so far? No, teacher. It's okay. No. Okay, so I'm going to show you an image, a paper, um, where you guys are going to be working together. And for every situation, you have to give an opinion using past participles. Are the instructions clear? Can you repeat, please, teacher? Yes, I'm going to show you a paper with different um, situations. You have to give your opinion by using past participles. Teacher, yes. uh, just to be clear, when yes. we use modal verb in past, we always uh, use the verb past participle. Yes, the form of the verb is always past participle. Yes, so you use the model, you use have, and finally, you use the past participle of the verb. We, we, never, we never use simple past. No, never. Not in this case. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you say, hubieras escrito un memo? You, have, you should have been a memo. A memo. Yep. You should have written a memo. Yes. How do you say no hubieras ido? You should have go. You shouldn't. You should have. You now shouldn't. remember this. When the sentence is negative, the model goes past. It should, right? Now. Shouldn't. Mustn't. Wouldn't. Couldn't can't, and so on. Any questions there? No? No, teacher, it's clear. Teacher, should teacher. Or past and yes, school. ask me. Should, should have is like a hubiera. Yes. Should have. Yeah, and that's why yesterday I was, um, we were discussing the function of should, can, could, must, would, because you need to have it very clear before you use it in the simple past. Okay, so I'm going to show you the paper. Okay, let me see this here. Okay.
the chat. Teacher, send me. My internet is slow. Oh, no, no problem. How about you, Cecilia? Yeah. Do you have the, the, the page? Uh, it's 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 also in the okay. it's also in the computer if you wanna take a screenshot. Because my internet is low. Okay. No huh. problem. Okay, so maybe Cecilia and, and Melvin can start. Please. Do you have that picture, Cecilia? Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, what is the activity? Okay. Uh, did you receive the image in the WhatsApp chat? Yes. Okay. So for every situation, you have to give your opinion using past models. For example, in the first one, you said, I told my brother a secret and he told everybody. So what do you think the other person is going to tell you? What, what was the question? Uh, repeat, I, 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 I told my brother a secret, but he told everybody. What do you think uh, the other person is going to tell you? How do you say no le hubieras contado, no le hubieras dicho? Um, you don't, you don't have. You shouldn't have. You shouldn't know. Tell, tell him. Told him. Cause tell you, him, cause, yes. um because the form of the verb is always in past participle. So tell, told, told. Okay. Yes. Um, the second one, it will be. Hello, hello. Uh, Eric, it's not viable. It's not viable to to participate. Oh, it's 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 true. So let me move you to um to another group. Okay. You're right, and I'm going to put Eric too. Move to number two, and Eric will go to number four. El hub. El? El hub. In this case, teacher. Which which case? The Me second. And number second. Okay, I'm sorry I shouted at you. Disculpame que te grité. What do you think the other person is going to say using the past model? Oh, okay. You didn't text. I was getting worried. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What do you think is going to be the next sentence from that person using past models? You shouldn't have to be worried. You shouldn't have to be worried. You shouldn't have been worried. Shouldn't have been worried. Been, you shouldn't have been worried. You should okay. not been worried. Okay, teacher. Yes. yes. Now, what about the next one? How will you do the next one? I watch an hour movie. I couldn't sleep that night. You should... 
been what? No, you should be watching or not. Not that way. We shouldn't have watched. We shouldn't have watched. Uh -huh. No, because says I watch an horror movie. I couldn't sleep that night. So maybe the answer is going to be you shouldn't yeah. watch. Have what? You shouldn't have what? Yeah. That type of movie. That. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's in it? No debería salir tarde. No debería salir tarde. Okay. okay. How about the four? four? Yes. Mm -hmm. You didn't text. I was getting worried. Um, How do you say no te hubieras preocupado? You shouldn't. Okay, when you say you, uh -huh. you shouldn't worried. Okay, you shouldn't have been worried. You shouldn't have been worried. He says, but why? You shouldn't have been worried. You shouldn't have. And remember, the form of the verb is in past participle. So the past participle of be is being, B-E-E-N, B-E-E-N, been. So no hubieras estado preocupado or preocupada. Shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been. Shouldn't have been. Okay. ¿Cuál era la que? Lo siguiente sería I didn't study last night and I decided to watch TV instead so I failed. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, I failed. Okay. You should have studied last night. Okay. That is correct, right, teacher? Sure. You can also okay. say, you could have left the television for later. Okay, or you should have to study last night. Right. Okay. 
And, and I don't understand the meaning of oh. our, our, our get the the next one. Our I was informed meaning. about the last schedule, so I got I got fired. I got fired. So maybe uh, they change your schedule at work, but nobody told you anything. So you arrive late. And because maybe you had priors and it was not your first time, um, they fire you. So you said, or, no one told me about the changes, so I got fired. Or, or especially some word that you, you don't know the meaning, Gloria. No, but the the next one, uh, I didn't go to my best friend's party because we are, I don't know uh, the meaning of this word. Oh, because mm -hmm. we have argued. Argued. Yeah, I regret it argued. now. So I didn't go to my best friend's party because we have argued. I regret it now. Argue means to have differences with another person. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. It's a synonym like discussions when you're, you're talking about differences. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. argue means um, to have differences with someone else. Um, you, you shouldn't go, you shouldn't have to go to the the party okay you should have gone to the party you should have gone you should uh, have yes, gone yes. to the party you shouldn't, yeah, you shouldn't you have should gone. Should have gone how do you say te hubieras olvidado del argumento que tuvieron you shouldn't have forgotten about the argument that you have. About the argument. Okay, good. Okay. Yo agarré. Es que dice que no, I wasn't informed about the last schedule, so I got fired. Mm -hmm. So, she, she, or so I should have informed being informed. Being, why being a teacher? Why Te, being? Tuve, being? Tendría que haber sido informado. Because remember, you always use model plus have plus past participle. So in the now, past participle always have been, being in the verb. Uh, if, if you're using, um, am is are is for present. Was, were, is for past. Been is what we use for past participles. B-E-E-N. So oh. I think that I need a second chance because I should have been informed about the changes. Okay. So, so what, was, what was the sentence that you had? I, I I don't put the bean. Okay, but remember, yeah. like like I wrote in the chat, you have to use the model plus have plus past participle. Yes, but I didn't. Okay. I did, I, no, no me acordé que el participio lleva bean. Yeah, so <laughs> you, you have to remember that part too. <laughs> no se me va a volver a olvidar. All right, sí, good. Me... That my friends look ugly with her new wool sweater, and she's mad at me. You broke your promise to your parents, and now they're so sad. I spent a lot of money on a gift to a friend, and it turned out that he didn't like it. How do you say le hubieras preguntado qué le gustaba? You 
should have asked him uh -huh. what did he like? What he liked. What he liked. Yes. Now, you can also say, le hubieras preguntado por qué no le gustó. So you say, you should have asked him why he didn't like it. Okay. So the, your sentence can be positive and, and it can also be negative. Mm. And, and the structure will always be the same. Just remember that uh, um, the, the, the model has to be the one in the negative form. So um, how do you say no hubieras gastado tanto? You shouldn't have spent that lot, much. Yeah, or that much. So when you say you shouldn't have spent a lot, where is the negative? The negative goes in the, in the model. Uh, form shouldn't okay uh, okay um, any questions about this image no no all right so let's return to the main session drown teacher what does it mean drown Drown, um, no, drown. Is, how do you spell it? D R O W. Okay, Dr N. and drown is what happens when you go to a swimming pool and you don't know how to swim. What is the result? You drown, you go to the bottom of the, of the swimming pool. Is, um, yep. Yep. So, so, so that's why, you know, like when you are in a swimming pool, you have to make sure that everybody knows how to swim to prevent situations like that. Okay. Okay, yeah, drown. Drown. Okay, so drown. Let's go back to the main session. Thank you. All right. Bye, lady. Were you able to finish all the situations, all the circumstances? No. No? Okay, so let, let's do it all together. I need a volunteer for the first one. I told my brother a secret and he told everybody. What would you say in that case? Uh-huh. Did everybody do the first one? You should have told him. Okay, you shouldn't have told oh. him. Very easy. Number two, I'm sorry I shouted at you. What do you think the other person is going to say to you? Disculpe que le grité. What will be the next sentence using past models? It's a question. Okay. You shouldn't have shouted. Okay, you shouldn't have shouted at me. You shouldn't have shouted at me. Okay. What about number three? She left home late. There was a lot of traffic. She was late for work. Um, what is your opinion about that situation? She should have woken up earlier. Good. She should have woken up earlier. Simple. She should have woken up earlier. Number four, you didn't text. I was getting worried. You should have. You should. You should have to be worried. 
You shouldn't been have worried. been worried. Been worried. Yes, you shouldn't have been worried. Okay, what about number five? I watched a horror movie. I couldn't sleep that night. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have. What? Okay. <laughs> what? That kind of movie. Okay, that kind of movie. Okay. All right, um, what about the others? I hear only Pamela and Alan answering. It says, I prepare an important presentation. Today my computer broke down and I haven't made any backups. What would be your opinion about that situation? Opinions? I prepare an important presentation. Today my computer broke down and I haven't made any backups. You should have been you should have been prepared another backup. Okay. You should have Hold on. Okay, so you say you should have prepared another backup. Or you could have made your presentation in a second computer too. Okay, um, are there any questions or comments so far? I see that we still need to practice more tomorrow with this particular topic. Um, any questions or comments about today's class? It's too hard for me. I have to practice. Right. I have right. practice a it's, day. It's clearly, but I have to practice a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah, and especially if the topic is new for you, uh, if everything is new, then you need to practice even more. And mm -hmm. like I yeah. told you, you know, this topic in particular doesn't belong to our level, but I think that you guys have the, uh, the knowledge to start uh, using this. But don't worry, um, we still have time, so we will continue working tomorrow with this same topic. Any questions or comments? No. No, no teacher. It is, isn't in the platform, right? No, it's not in the platform. And that's why I told you on Monday that uh, we will be having a review, but every day we will see something that is not there. So when you officially see it in the platform, uh, you guys are already familiarized with the with the topic. Yes. Okay. All right. So thank you very much for making the space, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you guys you have a good day. night. Thank you. Thank good you night. Sure. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.